All right, we got MLB The Show. We got Barry Bonds. It's never happened before, and we're going to make it happen today. So I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited. How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are doing a legend rebuild. So we're going to be adding Barry Bonds to today's San Francisco Giants. So if you guys want to see some more legend rebuilds in the future, make sure you hit the like button down below and also leave a comment of which player you'd like to see next. Ken Griffey Jr., Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire. There's a bunch of different ones we could do. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the content, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that bell notification icon. If you if you are subscribed and you're not on that bell notification icon, make sure you click it so you guys are notified whenever a video goes live, whenever I post in my community section. I've been posting a lot in the community section, questions for you guys, polls, um, also to let you guys know when the videos are coming for the day. So that's kind of the best way to kind of keep in touch in touch with me also my social media twitter twitter is a big way to keep in contact with me as well if you ever got any questions go to twitter so it's also in the description that's you know twitter stuff like that so let's get into it intro has been going long enough so what i'm thinking is let's let's just do a rebuild but let's add a legend i was thinking about it i've been thinking about it for a little bit and i think it'd be kind of cool to change it up from the normal rebuilds how much would one legend help a team? And I mean, with the Giants, I definitely think it could help a lot, especially a 99 overall Barry Bonds. And I know his record breaking season was when he was 36, but you know, with the way MLB works, once you hit like 33 and you're a outfield player, you just tank in overall. You just, just everything falls. Um, so I figured let's make him 30. And, you know, I'm, he was still hitting like 40 plus bombs when he was 30. So he definitely was still, you know, a power hitter. So 99s across the board in terms of hitting, fielding stats. And they're not terrible, but he's going to be playing left field. So it doesn't really matter. And what we did is we signed him to a five-year deal. This may be five years. It may be three years just because it's a little bit different than the normal rebuilds. But let's, let's see how he helps out today's San Francisco Giants. So what I'm thinking is season one, we may leave the team as is. And then season two, season three, and so on. We really push for that World Series because when you look at the Giants team, it's just it's just rough. Like there's just, I mean, Joey Bart's kind of someone to get excited about, but outside of that, you know, it's, oof, it just doesn't look, you know, exciting. It just, meh. oh man, that's it's just disappointing. You know, I, I feel like they've been saying they've been trying to rebuild, but they're not. They're bringing in older players. It's just. What, what are they really trying to do? But what I was saying is season one, I want to keep it, you know, let's see how much Barry Bonds would actually help the team, you know, and like see how he does. And then season two and season three, we will make changes to the squad. So with that being said, I'm going to do the scouting off camera. We're going to go to the draft and then uh, just finish out season one, see how things go. Draft for season one, pretty solid. Pedro Garlobo's second baseman, 71 overall. 86 potential justin dodd 73 overall um he's a left fielder though might maybe maybe move him to out like right field move duggar back to center but he looks pretty solid 87 potential anthony bradbury he's 75 with 88 potential uh we got S lloyd melvin 66 overall 86 potential and then 83 potential and 68 overall for xavier light even a 77 potential 50 overall reliever was our last pick solid draft season one no changes at all we made the postseason as a wild card team which I don't think the giants are going to do in real life but let's take a look let's see how things went barry bonds home runs runs base on balls slugging percentage and uh ops 1183 for his ops that is gross he, oh he missed he missed batting average by point zero zero three by three points he missed batting average oh man and he missed uh rbis by like 15 so let's take a look mvp is going to be very barry bonds he run rookie of the year. he won rookie of the year um he also had a hank aaron no gold glove though but 60 home runs <laughs> 144 rbis 117 walks only 73 strikeouts almost hit 350 it's just gross and to, and to be honest those are like realistic numbers that's the scary thing like that is what barry bonds was putting up in real life so let's take a look let's just see how the team did bum garner very solid Derek rodriguez okay not terrible johnny cueto meh smartja not too bad um 18 and 4 though for smartja okay uh pomeranz 
We had Sean Anderson there. Got got lights out. Watson was meh. Vincent, not too bad. Melanson, very solid in that setup role. Reyes Maranta, not so much. And then we had Will Smith. Kind of struggled. Kind of struggled. Let's look at the lineup really quick. Kevin Pillar. Mm. Steven Duggar, not much of a hitter. We already know it. We already know what Barry Bonds did. Brandon Belt hit very well. Joe Panic was subpar. Evan Longoria was not too bad. Almost 300. Buster Posey is usually a very consistent hitter, even though he's aging. And he normally stays very consistent like for quite a while. Um, overall, hitting-wise, the team did pretty poorly. Not a lot of two like 70s and above. Uh, like what we had four hitters that hit 270 and above a little disappointing a little disappointing uh prospects wise i don't i mean besides joey bart who i still thinks a couple seasons away um you know i don't really know if we could uh really get excited about too much right now we do have helio ramos hunter bishop so i mean there's some names but nothing too much so let's let's just see how this goes with this quick manage because I mean it's it's Barry Bonds maybe he hits like seven home runs in the game who knows we're gonna put Mad Bomb we're taking on the Braves Bonds in the three spot and uh, let's see the Braves make any moves it doesn't look like it looks looks pretty standard and Acuna takes Mad Bomb deep nice all right Barry Bonds let's see what he can do he singles I mean it's a hit it's a hit we get a run and then a double play ends it so we don't tie the game unfortunately so, I mean, we still we still only down one run. Not terrible. We got a guy in first with one out. Barry Bonds walks. I have a feeling he's going to walk quite a bit. I feel like that's going to be the thing. Bases loaded, two outs. He gets out of it. Perfect. First and second for Yastrzemski. He strikes out. Mad Bum. He's, he can swing a bat. Not this time, though. Oh, man. It's still a one-run game. Barry Bonds. He's two walks. Are you serious? Tie game. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We got a tie game heading into the bottom of the sixth. I think that's what we're going to we're going to call it there for Mad Bum. Do we I'm going to save Tyler Austin. We're going to go with the the sack fly. No. Okay, what about now? All right, we get the sack fly. That's all that that's all I wanted really. Fielder's choice. What? What are you talking about? How is he? All right. Seventh. Hmm. Two lefties. Let's go to Watson. All right. Not going to keep that going. We're going to go to Maranta. Gets us out of the inning. Just what we needed. And then double play there. Let's go to Melanson since he was pitching very well throughout the year. Pinch hit. We'll go Tyler Austin. He gets on. Perfect. Single first and third for Solano. Barry Bonds. Home run right here. I'm calling it. Okay, a walk. That's three walks this game. Are you serious? That's just, that's annoying. Um, oh, please don't ruin this. All right, cool. We're taking on the Dodgers. That was, whew, a little, little, little nerve wracking, not gonna lie. So let's, uh, let's move. Oh no, no, we wanna keep him there. And let's just move Mad Bum like right there. And we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. So let's simulate lose win okay we lost so we're facing an elimination yeah i don't know why that like didn't ring correctly in my mind that we were facing elimination so let's let's just huh hmm all right so 82 stem you know what we'll, we'll give smarty a chance we'll give smarty a chance see how he does great start awesome fantastic uh and then he strike Okay, okay, Brandon Belt. I'll take that. We're, what, a sack fly away from tying the game? Perfect. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'll take that. I'm pretty sure I just saw Barry Bonds got out again, and then we give up the lead, which is cool. Not cool. I mean, we, we gave up the lead. Can we get a run back? All right, this is, this is the inning. Barry Bonds is 0 for 3. What is this? 
sorcery that the Dodgers got going on because there's no way that Barry Bonds should be going 0 for 3 in a playoff game right now. We're going to... Uh, Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. I like it. <laughs> oh boy. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. All right, who we we're going to bring in Tyler Austin. He's going to walk, so we're going to pinch run with S Steven Duggar. Fielder's choice. Love it. Barry Bonds. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Little, little rally. Oh, ho, ho. no, 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 no. Panic did not just hit a grand slam. I mean, <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, man. Not a good start. Do we have a lefty in the pen? We do. Let's just go to it. All righty. This, this is the chance. That's a good start. That's a really good start. We're going to pinch hit for, I feel like he can, he can do it. He can do it. <sighs> Again, you had to get my hopes up. Had to get my hopes up. That's annoying. <laughs> oh, you, you, you're like, yes, panic grand slam. You got this. We're we're doing big things, and then it's just just take it just take it out from under me. You know what I mean? All right. So Mad Bum, yes, we will definitely give him another contract. He pitched very well. Um, let's just bump it up to make sure he like signs. Will Smith, yes, you pitched poorly. I st still gonna give you a, a a fat contract. Vincent, no, uh, no. I feel like you gotta give him one. It's Kung Fu Panda, right? All right, so we'll let the rest walk. Well, maybe not. Tony Watson's 34. No, we're gonna let the rest walk. We're gonna. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. 40 man. We'll, we'll probably add those guys to the 40 man. Arbitration. Sam Dyson will probably pitch next year. So yes, Brandon Beachy won't pitch next year. So probably still yes anyways. Uh, we'll probably offer arbitration to those guys and then contracts will be given to everybody. Uh, so off season of season two uh, or going into season two, we're going to trade Henry Garcia and Johnny Cueto for Braylon Marquez and Adbert Alzale of the Cubs. Two pitching prospects. Alzale actually just made his debut in uh, the Cubs versus Mets game for the game one of the series. Four shutout inning or four innings, one run, like six. 5Ks or something like that. He looked really good. I'm a huge fan of Adbert. So we're going to add him to the squad. He's not the best right now. Give him a couple seasons. I definitely think he'll be good for the starting lineup. Evan Longoria for Hector Rondon is the next trade. I'm really trying to open up some cap space. Get rid of these guys with big contracts that are more than just this season. So players like Smarja, I'll let him stay for this year. But um, like Longoria, Cueto, they're guys that I'm looking to move right now. Mark Melanson, Donovan Solano, and Steven Okert for Garrison Bautista of the Mariners. His stats don't look amazing right now. I also look at Vizcaino, um, but I know we picked him up recently. So I decided to go for someone that's a little bit new. We haven't tried him out before. Um, Melanson did pitch very well last season, but you guys can see he's already dropped quite a bit. Um, and I expect him to drop even more. So let's get someone who can help us out and not decrease in rating. Alrighty, season two, we made some changes. We brought in Drew Smiley as kind of like a fourth or fifth in the rotation. We still we still have uh, Sean Anderson here. Um, Jeff Smarge is in the last year of his deal. He's gonna start to decrease in rating. Derek Rodriguez and Mad Bum came back on a three-year deal. Yeah, three-year deal. We got Michael Walker, who actually had a really solid season last year, 275 ERA over 101 innings pitch. He's gonna be our new long reliever. Uh, we traded for Rondon. We have Dyson, who was in our farm system last year. We have Jerez, Block, Gott, Moranta, and Will Smith. I'm going to let 
uh, Bautista kind of develop a little bit more, maybe like one more year. And then we have Brad Barry, who we drafted last year. This guy was in free agency, Garrett Trujillo. We're going to give him a shot, see how he develops over the season. We got Al Zale here and Braylon Marquez and a couple other pitchers to look out for. Lineup wise, I decided to let Joe Panic walk because I wanted a little bit more power. We're bringing in Mike Moustakis for a season. Um, Gio Urshela is going to be brought in to play third base just because we needed a spot filled once Evan Longoria got traded. And then the other move is Lurie Garcia is going to play center field. Um, so just to kind of like fill in some pieces right now, just because free agency was a little lackluster. We still have Joey Bart. We have Helio Ramos. We have Pedro Garlobo. We have some players to develop. It's just I needed some stopgap pieces. I just need some players to fill the space until some players developed or free agency was a little bit better and we could have brought in some better players. So um, we probably will make a trade here or there. But for right now, the team's looking a lot better. I mean, we made the playoffs last year. I definitely think with this team, we should make the playoffs again. So let's see how we do. Oh, I forgot to mention a couple other players. Justin Dodd was a player that we drafted. I mean, he definitely could make the big league team very soon within a season or two. Uh, I've already mentioned Garlobo. Um, we have Xavier Light, who's going to be starting in the double A. Um, and then uh, Lloyd Melvin as well. So we, we got some we got some players to look out for. At the deadline, I'm making a move for Paul DeYoung. I know it doesn't really fit into the team just yet. Um, but Brandon Crawford is what on his last year of his deal. He's got one more year. He's got one more year. And I mean, he's not hitting the ball poorly, but, um, I'm thinking about moving Brandon belt as well, just because he's got a big contract and I feel like we can move Mustakas to first and then we'll be okay. That's my thinking. All right. Like I said, we're moving Brandon belt in a trade we're gonna go for the marlins pitcher sandy alcantara um walks per nine is kind of low but overall his stats are pretty solid he's got good potential um he's having a pretty solid year this year um the reason i'm doing this is smart just contract ends at the end of the season and he's is he's dipping pretty quickly another season another postseason appearance as a wild card team this time taking on the diamondbacks in the first round of the playoffs let's take a look see how things went again Looks like Barry Bonds put up good numbers. Home runs, doubles, RBIs, batting average, hits, and runs. So it looks like that's a triple crown. And then Mad Bum. Woo! Mad Bum had a season. Okay. So we got a triple crown for Barry Bonds. We got a silver slugger. We got an MVP and a Hank Aaron Award. All for Barry Bonds. Unreal. I'm so Wait. Who won Cy Young? DeGrom? Because of strikeouts? Because Mad Bum had a 2.34 ERA, a 105 WHIP, and 2.11 strikeouts, he went set. That's a Cy Young. That's a Cy Young right there. I don't know how he didn't win it. Uh, we got Derek Rodriguez, pretty solid, pretty solid season, better than last year. Smarja didn't do too bad, even though he was decreasing in rating. Won't be bringing him back, but you know, not too bad. Smiley struggled a little bit in the second half of the season, and Alcantara finished the season pretty strongly as well. Michael Walker did quite well. Sean Anderson struggled a little bit, but um, we do have a couple pitchers we could always worry about bringing up. Um, it looks like some things got shuffled up here, unfortunately. But it's looking like Bradbury's developing quite nicely. Braylon Marquez as well. Okay. Alzale is up there a little bit, so maybe by like season four he could be usable. But um, oh yeah, let's look at the rest of the bullpen. Moranta struggled. Dyson did well. Jerez did okay. Rondon did well. Gott is a very good uh, setup man, it looks like. And Will Smith lights out. Let's take a look at this Barry Bond season. So, Steven Duggar improved, improved, which is good. Gio Urshela, um, his potential has gone up, and he actually had a really solid season. Alrighty, Barry Bonds. Woo! Woo! Having some, like, more RBIs, less walks, a little more strikeouts, but still just crazy good numbers. Just unreal. Unreal stuff right there. Uh, Mike Moustakis struggled a little bit, but we did we did move him to first. We may replace him. We'll see. Paul DeYoung, as our second baseman, did quite well. Um, a little bit worse than last year, but still very well. Buster Posey hit 300, which is good to see. And Brandon Crawford, I mean, he's still doing well. That's why I didn't want to replace him just yet. And our bench is pretty lackluster uh let's look at our prospects we do have a couple pitching we have alzale bd we got suarez light is already up to a 71 melvin's a 70 already okay uh trujillo 73 meh eh. 
our closer Bradbury though he looks like he could be our setup guy to help out um, got soon Bart is probably our backup now um, let's see what else we got Garlobo is a 73 his hitting stats aren't that great though um, Luciano we didn't draft him but he looks decent Dodds up to a 77 already he's got some really good hitting stats could be coming up to the major soon we got Bishop Helio Ramos definitely got some outfield prospects that look really solid so game against the Diamondbacks let's do it hopefully we win we're gonna let Mad Bum take the mound let's get started fielder's choice awesome that's not great Alrighty, all right and this is Robbie Ray like we should be destroying Robbie Ray Robbie Ray is not a good sim pitcher like Barry Bonds though is really letting me down Hmm. Barry Bonds, you let me down. All right, we get a walk. Can we bunt him over? We do. Perfect. Run score, Steven Duggar. Okay. Barry Bonds, bases clearing double. I just had to call him out. That's all I had to do to get him to, to wake up a little bit. That's, you know, that's what we had to do. Just call him out saying that he was trash. See, now he's, now he's getting runs. He's running around the base path. Okay. All right, that was... That was Mad Bum's last um, inning. He's he's dead tired already. Ooh, a walk? What? Double play. Ew. All right. Pitching change. Let's go to... Let's just use someone that, like, probably doesn't need to be used in, like, heavy situations. Barry Bonds again. Like, <laughs> I just had to call him out. Boom. All right. So, Mad Bum went seven innings, five hits, four walks, and ten strikeouts thing is i know barry bonds put up some crazy good numbers in that that game too so all right we're gonna do that and we'll move him there all right let's do it let's get into it dodgers series we're facing elimination again it's looking like the dodgers are gonna be our achilles heel gonna be just the team that i'm always gonna come up against and struggle uh yeah we'll go alcantara not necessarily the matchup i wanted but you know tolls turner seager it looks the same cervelli's a new addition but all right, first inning, Urshela, mm, Bonds, gross. Runner thrown out, perfect. All right, we get out of that. A double, can we capitalize on this though? The pitcher has to do it and he doesn't. All right, cool. First and third, no. Ooh, there we go, strikes out the side then, okay. First and third, two outs, run scores. That's all we needed, one run. Come on, man, get us out of it, perfect. One more inning from you, please. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Five innings done. All right, you're done. <laughs> Tie game. It's not ideal, but, you know. All right, still tied. We're going to go to a pinch hitter. Lefty will go Garcia. Gets on. Perfect. First and second. Urshela. Barry Bonds. What? Barry Bonds, you're letting me down, man. Uh, Lefties, lefties, lefties. Let's go, Jerez. Perfect. All right. Moustakis, I have faith. Okay, maybe not. Single. Perfect. Nothing. Mm. Nope. Didn't want to do that. Nice. All right. Pinch hit. Let's go, Yastrzemski. Flies out. A single. A double. I need a sack fly here. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Last game. Let's get into it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's go Rodriguez. A double to start it off. Yeah. Barry Bonds. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I needed. Two run bomb. That's not what I wanted. That, that was no. No, uh, no, 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 no. None of that. Not that either. I, what? Come on. What? Are you serious? You're going to let Tolls do that? Double play. Really, double play. I mean, we get one back, which is cool, but come on. We're better than that. The pitcher, really, the pitcher. 
All right, you're done, bud. The pitcher. Hmm. Right, 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 right. Double play. Perfect. Just what I wanted, right? All right, we get out of that. We're still down four. We got three innings left. That's a good start. We're going to pinch hit. We're going to go to Yastrzemski. He's going to fly out. Perfect. Just, just what we needed. Fielder's choice. Awesome. Awesome. Let's go run down. Do we have another lefty? We have Smith. It's too early for him, though. That's the problem. Ah, oh, perfect. Ground out. Barry Bonds. Are you serious right now? Are you are you trying to start some some war with me? I hit with Rundown because I was trash talking Barry Bonds. All right, next, 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 next. Red Sox defeated the Dodgers. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's keep going. All right, nobody retired. Let's look at exclusive negotiations. Um, Smiley struggled. We could probably get a new guy. Rondon is going down. We probably get somebody else. Mustakis is going down. We could probably get somebody else for cheaper. Um, I'll bring in Garcia for a year deal at a very low amount because he can be a platoon player. Everybody else can leave. That's basically what it comes down to. Um, arbitration. How did Dyson do? He didn't do bad. Who do we have in the bullpen? We do have Bautista. Jerez. We'll let Dyson walk. We'll let Beachy walk. There's no point offering him anything. Everybody's going to get a contract. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Alrighty, season three. We're going to start with a trade. We're going for Trevor Williams of the Pirates. Um, stats look overall pretty solid. Wins and losses, obviously, I'm not too worried about just because it's a sim. Uh, we're going Tyler Beatty. Hunter Bishop's the big piece in this trade. But we do have Helio Ramos, so I'm not too worried about losing him um so yeah that's uh that's the trade and this is how we're gonna look for season three i'm thinking this is gonna be the last season just because we had a lot of good prospects that are already making their debuts this year and on top of that i don't want this to drag on too long i just kind of want to do a little fun thing where we could you know involve some legends and uh switch it up from time to time so um the change here we got alzale starting uh, Garrison Bautista is going to be in the in the mix as well, along with Anthony Bradbury. Uh, we got Gott and then uh, Will Smith there. Looking at the lineup, we do have a change. DJ LeMayhew is going to play first for us. Um, outside of that, I think everything's the same. Um, I want maybe versus righties. I guess Lurie Garcia can play there. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll rock this. We'll see how things go. You guys can see the team there. It's it's interesting. A couple changes here, here, here and there. Justin Dodd is going to play right field for us. Um, got a little bit hit, better hitting stats than Steven Duggar. That's kind of the reasoning there. Um, I brought up uh, Garlobo and Joey Bart as well. So the team's looking good. I really, I really like what we put together here with the squad. Um, it's definitely a solid team. Let's see if we can make it past that first round of the playoffs for once. And uh, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's, let's just see how season three goes. Alrighty, so we finished 95 and 67, won the division. The crazy thing is, um, I'll show you guys, like right here was rough. Here, still pretty rough. And at one point we were like 53, 50 and 53. So this month was the big turnaround in the season. Like we just, the last two months just killed it in terms of wins and losses. Something clicked. Uh, you guys can see DJ LeMahieu and G Gio Urshela um, had some pretty solid seasons. Trevor Williams did quite well. Um, something makes me think that Barry Bonds fell off a little bit. Um, I mean, 45 home runs, actually not too bad. The average dipped a little bit on base percentage slugging OPS did. But 45 home runs, 121 RBIs, that's, that's still a really solid season. Um, so he definitely is helping the team. Like he's putting up crazy RBIs, crazy home runs, crazy amount of hits. Like he's, he's doing his job. DJ LeMahieu, 275, almost 40 home runs in the, the leadoff spot, the leadoff spot. And he's hitting almost 40 home runs and almost hundred RBIs. Unreal. Uh, you got Brandon Crawford who hit 280, almost Barry Bonds, Paul DeYoung, um, yeah, pretty standard for Paul DeYoung. Gio Urshela is still putting up fairly consistent numbers. Walks very solid as well. 
average dropped a little bit but you know what it's not the worst uh buster posey still doing buster posey things 300 average um Larry garcia not terrible not terrible at all um justin dodd in his rookie years up to an 80 overall already almost 20 home runs 80 rbis okay that's that's not terrible at all that's really solid steven dugger struggled a little bit joey bart a little bit uh garlobo's up to a 260 uh average but you know, almost the 80 overall as well so he did quite quite well uh so our, some of our rookies did very well uh derek rodriguez pretty solid mad bum probably the worst season so far trevor williams did very good like just unreal 266 era 107 whip alcantara struggled a little bit so did alzale um ty block okay uh, maranta jerez Bautista, ooh, these two did really well. Um, mostly Bautista did really well. Bradbury, holy cow. Oh man, this rookie that we got is just lights out. And then we got Will Smith. All right, let's see some of our other guys. Wow, we got a lot of pitchers going on here. Holy smokes. But I mean like Xavier Light, we drafted the first year. Look at his stats already. Uh, Lloyd Melvin, same thing. Unreal. We got Braylon Marquez, who's what, 22 still? He's growing pretty quickly. Just crazy stats all across the board. I mean, we still have Helio Ramos here. Um, so he's he's climbing up very quickly. Good, good team right here. So we won the division, taking on the Brewers. Let's see how things go. A win, a win, and we swept them. Perfect. All right, let's get the rotation all sorted let's get these guys where they need to be oh man this is it's looking like a good run i can feel it as i say that we go down oh three <laughs> oh man i had to jinx it i jinxed it i had to have. um mad bomb all right let's do it going against the braves albies i mean the team looks the same the team has like no changes at all um great start great start one run perfect um very bond singles hey, hey that's something new he usually like gets out all right we have one hit which is awesome we're letting their pitcher get on base dance B swanson how about you break your leg all right come on all righty let's do this very bonds gets on again but nobody else can do anything okay buster posey he's got to be the one that does it apparently Nice one, two, three inning for us. This was just what I wanted. Double and Urshela gets out. Perfect. A walk, you're done, bud. Um, let's go, Bautista. Picked him off. <laughs> A double. Okay. Ground out. All right, we got to take him out, unfortunately, because we need. Um, the chances to score. Bart, singles, perfect. Dodd, please. Fielder's choice. LeMayhew. Um, eighth inning, Bradbury time. Nice. All right, it all comes down to this. Hmm. <sighs> I suppose he gets on. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one run. All right. Uh, all right. I guess it's Garcia time. Grounds out. Dodd. Please, 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 please. Walk some. Tie ball game. Barry Bonds. Walk it off. Right here. Walk it off. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, man. Mm. All right, we're, we're jumbling up our rotation really badly here, but let's do it. It's a good start. Single, okay. Nice, nice. We don't do anything with it. Cool, and then they score. They score, that's, that's awesome, right? That's right, yeah. All right, we get it back. I'll take that. Come on. A walk. Double play. Urshela hits the bomb. All right, cool. We're up two to one. Let's just keep attacking them. 
come on get out of it all right he gets out of it double play seriously you, why double play okay right back at him perfect double move him over at least all right buster posey that's all you got to do um all right you're done tie block mm. Yeah, we're gonna not mess around anymore. Uh, Maranta. <sighs> Why? Why do you do this to me? Why must you hurt me? You know? Why must you do that? Double play? Thank you, Barry Bonds. Thank you. You did something that I can actually, like, be cool with. Michael Walker, come in. Do your job. Did your job. Larry Garcia, you you are the G. All right. Will Smith, shut the door. Just close the door. That's all you got to do. Don't stop. Stop. Thank you. Jesus. That was way worse than it should have been. Next game. We're doing this. We're coming back. Reverse sweep. Uh, Derek Rodriguez on the mound. Two run home run. Paul DeYoung. You, you absolute Don. Let's do it. Keep it going. Let's go. Come on. It's not the time. No. Stop it. All right. What the? What just happened? All right, you're done. You're done. Can't have you be hurting me anymore. Sweet, 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 sweet. Michael Walker, come in. Shut the door. Thank you. All right, seventh inning. Let's do this. There we go. Buster Posey. Buster Posey. Michael Walker, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe I did. Let's keep going. First and third. Sack fly ties the game. Perfect. Oh, man. And we take the lead. That's what I'm talking about. Why why do you hurt me? Why must you do that? Mhm mm mhm mm mhm. Mm yep. Yep. Mhm mm yep. Nice. Uh Buster Posey. Uh all right, still tie game. Can we do this right here? Maybe, 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 maybe not. Okay. All right, we got. We just got to play the matchups at this point. Rochella, walks. Garcia, Posey. Yeah, that one hurts. Uh. Maranta. No. Stop it. All right. All that work. Again. Just ruined. Just ruined. All right. And that's going to that's going to bring it to an end. Oh, the NLCS, really? That sucks. Braves and the Braves won. All right, no playoff MVPs or anything. It's unfortunate. So I mean, Barry Bonds did pretty well. 455. I mean, what in three seasons he hit 159 home runs. I mean, that's this. This is 420 RBIs. Nice, nice. Um, I mean, these are like Barry Bonds numbers, and you can see how much of an impact he has on the team. Like he's still. Just, just unreal numbers 150 homers 420 rbis in the postseason he hit 455 like his walk numbers are through the roof you know like just crazy crazy stuff just crazy 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 so i hope you guys enjoyed this legends rebuild um like i said i want this to be you know something that kind of switches it up from the normal rebuilds it kind of gives us a fantasy player to like throw into it and like I said, if you guys want to see another player, let me know in the comment section down below. Like the video if you did enjoy this, and I will definitely bring more of them. 
for you guys. I, th I think this is going to be a lot of fun. We definitely get to try out players that are a little bit different. You know, Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, we could do pitchers like Randy Johnson and stuff like that. You know, it's there's a lot of options we could do. Um, I know this was a three-year rebuild, but it kind of makes us like, can we get them in the prime of their career and really build a team around them? So I hope you guys enjoyed this rebuild. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. Catch you all in the next one. Peace.